So today we're going to make therapeutic Play-Doh. I have a um, very simple recipe for you. We're going to use one cup of regular white flour, half a cup of your standard salt, and a tablespoon of vegetable oil, oil. If you have canola oil, that'll work too. Just whatever you have in the house. So I have everything here pre-measured for me. So I have my one cup of flour. We're gonna start with our dry ingredients. So our one cup of flour in the bowl. And I have a half a cup of the salt. So let's just give that a quick little stir. So for our liquids, we're gonna use a half a cup of lukewarm water. So we're gonna mix our wet ingredients into the water. So if you wanna add a little color to your Play-Doh, you can add some food coloring. I just use about four drops. Also, I'm gonna use lavender, just because it's a nice relaxing scent. So I'm gonna add two or three drops of that. And now for the vegetable oil, we need one tablespoon. I only have a half tablespoon, so I'm going to add two. One and two. Now I'll give that a quick little stir. So now I have my mixed weight wet ingredients and my dry. So I'm going to slowly incorporate my wet ingredients and swish it around a little. So Play-Doh can be great for a hand exercise. So if you have an affected side, um, just rolling the Play-Doh, pinching the Play-Doh, making small little balls, all of that is great exercise for those fingers to get moving. All right, so it's starting to incorporate a little bit here. It's turning more into a chunky mess, but just keep stirring, keep adding. And once it gets to kind of like a cookie dough um, texture, you can put that down, grab it with those hands and just mix it up really good. Now this is good in the fridge for up to two weeks. Now if you find that your Play-Doh is getting a little dry, just add maybe one teaspoon of water at a time until you get that nice consistency. As you can see here, I've got a nice dough. Just gonna keep working it until you get that nice Play-Doh. This is great for adults and kids. So if you have your grandkids, they can do this. It takes maybe five minutes to do. There. So now I've got a nice, nice, there. Some nice dough here. So you can break some up, make some little balls, pinch with your fingers. Also, if you make it into shapes, if you're using it with your grandkids, you can use cookie cutters, let them dry out over, sometimes 48 hours it takes before it's all dried out. And then you can paint them, use them as ornaments for your Christmas tree this year. So there you go, guys. There's my little video. I hope this helps. Have fun. Make lots of different colors. And uh, have a great day.